When you bury a corpse, you dig a hole. When you need to plant a tree, you dig a hole. When cats take a dump, eh, you get the picture. But sometimes a hole doesn't have a purpose. Sometimes it just exists thanks to the wondrous abilities of Mother Nature or the crazy drunken exploits of curious Russians. And sometimes a hole appears which we have no explanation for whatsoever. So, let's take a look at some of these in our list of the seven strangest holes on Earth. In at number 7, The Devil's Hole Pondering the capabilities of something called The Devil's Hole leads one to images of being burned alive. Perhaps it releases a kind of gas that turns your skin inside out. But you'd be wrong, because what the Devil's Hole does is detect earthquakes. Formed in the Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge in Nye County, Nevada, is a limestone cavern with a deep, salty geothermal pool over 150 meters deep. This water is known to recede and splash back two meters into the air when seismic activity takes place on the other side of the world. Quakes as far away as Japan, Chile, and Indonesia have been seen to cause the devil's hole to splash around like a cat in a bathtub. And that's not the only fascinating thing about this place. As well as being the only known home of the Devil's Hole pupfish, the cave is also currently under exploration by divers hoping to investigate a major event in Earth's history. 780,000 years ago, the Earth's magnetic field turned by 180 degrees, and evidence of this is believed to be abundant within the salty little time capsule. Oh, and if you're disappointed that the Devil's Hole contains fewer corpses than you expected, don't worry. It's got plenty. This hole used to be a Civil War execution site, where the bodies of Union sympathizers were known to have been dumped in. Then in 1965, two kids disappeared after diving in, and following a significant search, nothing of the two kids ever surfaced. There are several air pockets in the Devil's Hole where one could conceivably survive for a few hours, but that's only if you avoid the razor-sharp rocks. And if you're somehow immune to the effects of nitrogen narcosis, where high levels of nitrogen cause you to feel drunk and reckless. So it's likely that those two kids got ballsier and ballsier the further down into the hole they went. In at 6, the Kola Superdeep. The Kola Superdeep Borehole is the deepest hole on Earth having been dug down by the former Soviet Union to a depth of 40,230 feet in 1989. And while it may not be the longest borehole, it is the deepest artificial point on the planet, and the closest man has ever come to touching the hot, steamy inside parts of our secretive inner Earth. Over 24 years, the Soviets managed to drill through one-third of the Baltic continental crust reaching rocks that were untouched for 2.5 billion years. Further drilling was prevented by the 180 degrees Celsius heat, which would have risen to 300 if they'd continued. And since the rocks started to feel more like goopy plastic, they didn't really have the tools to deal with that. On the way down, the Soviets also found water and microscopic fossils several kilometers deeper than anyone had observed before. But if you were seduced by all those clickbaity images of giant holes we showed you at the start, then how couldn't you be? Then prepare to be shocked, because the sight of such a monumentous feat isn't easily noticeable, it isn't celebrated by a plaque, and it isn't even treated very well. This is the site of the entrance to Earth's deepest artificial hole. At 5. Heavenly Pit Every so often, a story comes along about a giant sinkhole opening up randomly in the middle of a city. And when these things are a few meters across, they can cause immense devastation and chaos. But imagine if a sinkhole opened up over an area covering over 100,000 square kilometers. Welcome to China's Heavenly Pit, also known as the Shoshai Tianqing. This sinkhole was discovered in 1994 by British explorers. 
and is home to many unique species including the rare clouded leopard. Its opening, the sinkhole, not the leopards, is an incredible 626 meters long and 537 meters wide, with a depth of somewhere around 600 meters giving it a total area of 274,000 meters squared and a volume of more than 100 million meters cubed. This is more than your average pothole. And if something like this opened up in your neighborhood, your town's gonna need a band-aid or two. 4. The Door to Hell Turkmenistan's Door to Hell is a 69-meter wide, 30-meter deep crater sat on the site of an old natural gas field in the region of Derveza. But it didn't always look so fiery and hellish. No, we've got geologists to blame for that. Crazy, rock-loving Because in 1971, when Soviet engineers identified a methane gas pocket which prevented its use as an oil field, geologists decided it'd be much safer to ignite the gas than to leave it alone. The geologists expected the gas to burn off after a few weeks, and this area the size of a football field has been burning for 45 years since, attracting 50,000 tourists over the past five years some of whom occasionally fall in. Number 3. The Siberian Mystery Holes In 2013 and 2014, a series of mysterious holes started appearing in various parts of Russia's Siberian territory, and we still don't know what caused them. First on the Tymir Peninsula, a 100-meter deep hole appeared after locals heard an explosion followed by a strange glow in the sky. The hole was originally only 4 meters wide, but has since grown more than 15 times that size to 70 meters wide. And having ruled out meteorites, scientists now believe the hole was caused not by something striking the Earth, but by something exploding beneath it. Since then, six more have been discovered in the Yamal region. And Russian scientists believe there could be 20 to 30 more of these in the surrounding area. The leading theory so far involves pockets of methane gas similar to the one discovered in Turkmenistan. But rather than setting them on fire, they think we're causing them to heat up and burst out of the earth due to our warming of the planet. Other scientists believe methane isn't to blame, instead claiming that the melting of ice plugs called pingos causes these events. Either way, it seems that the hotter the Earth gets, the more explosions happen. And I think explosions are pretty cool. So I say, let's turn up the heat and action movie the crap out of this planet. Number 2. The Cambodian Death Caves Today, the Phnom Sempov Caves are a beautiful tourist attraction, combining gorgeous natural formations and stunning local artwork with breathtaking architecture and ornate displays of battered human remains. Wait, what? Oh yeah, they're called the Death Caves for a reason, bub. Wasn't that obvious? In the 1970s, Cambodia was ruled by the bloodthirsty Khmer Rouge, and these caves were used as a place to torture and execute many of their millions of victims. The caves can be accessed through a hole at the very top, and it was here that the Khmer Rouge pushed their victims to their deaths, if they were lucky. Those who weren't so lucky would survive the fall, but later die from dehydration or starvation, unless you were willing to chow down on the corpses underneath you. Because over time, so many were killed in this way, that an actual mountain of bodies was created. And at number one, the Black Hole of Andros You'll notice straight away that this little hole is a little different to any of the other underwater holes you may have seen. Because rather than being a dark blue color, this one has a weird purple tint to it. This is due to a thick layer of toxic bacteria which lies 18 meters below the surface. And when scientist Steffi Schwab made the first ever journey down into the Black Hole of Andros, she described it as like swimming through paint. And if you don't know what that's like, pause the video. Go fill your neighbor's pool with one coat emulsion and find out. Beyond this layer of toxic bacteria, Schwab found a thin strip of clear water, 
after which there was another layer of purple bacteria, which felt more like swimming through jelly, which makes this sound like the worst trifle in history. But the strange thing about this hole is that while the top layer of water is heavily oxygenated, the lower layers are completely devoid of oxygen, and conditions found deep down in the water closely resemble those found in our oceans billions of years ago. So what weird ancient creatures might be lurking down here? And is any of this linked to the fact that the black hole of Andros is located inside the Bermuda Triangle? And that's our list. Did you enjoy probing our many wonderful holes? Super! We enjoyed it too. But if you're a fan of dark, dank places where terrible things occur, why not take a look at our recent video on the seven creepiest dungeons in history? Hopefully there's nobody in a gimp suit down there, unlike the one in my uncle's cellar.